Yo, what is good dev guys? Welcome back to part five of this video tutorial series. In this video, we want to go ahead and start creating the functions on our interface that we'll be calling in our blueprint actor class that we created. So let's go ahead and do that. Underneath this uh, public section here, we want to create a U function and we want to make it both blueprint callable and a blueprint implementable event. This will make sure that uh, we're, able, we're able to create an event based off of this function call uh, inside of our blueprint or any class that implements this interface. So let me call this void on random load. And this is what's going to happen when we try to randomly load a static asset. So on random load static, it's a function there. And we need to copy this because we're going to also do this for our skeletal as well. So on random load skeletal. And then I want to copy both of these and we're going to do this. Uh, we're going to make a call for when we try to async both of these uh, uh, types of assets. So I'm going to control all and shift and make a couple cursors. And then I'm going to say on try async load static and skeletal. And then we need one more function for when we actually try to unload our assets. So we'll call this on unload. And it doesn't matter whether it's skeletal or static, it'll unload all the assets. So we'll use these implementable events as a connector between our part data and our blueprint to actually get things going here. So if I go ahead and run the editor, actually, I forgot one thing. We need to actually implement this interface on our actor class. So let's navigate to that async test actor. And let's go ahead and make a comma here. And let's go public I part interface. There it is. And Rider will automatically include the header. Uh, if you don't have Rider, you need to go ahead and include this header right here. And now we can run the editor. And when we get inside the editor, you'll actually see an opportunity to implement these events inside of our actor. And this is going to allow us to tie in the widget blueprint with our um, actor as well. So let me cancel this. And now if I open up this blueprint, blueprint async actor and we look at our interface here, you see we got un un unload and all the other functions that we created events for. So what we'll do here is when we get to that point, we'll implement the event and then we'll run the code for that event. Uh, we'll be we'll be actually finishing up our test actor in the next video. But right now we need to finish up our widget blueprint. And I forgot to add a button for our unload. So let me control W this and this is going to be our unload button. So let me rename this unload. And also the text say unload all assets and let's move that sucker up on the y axis see negative 100 seems good and let's also change the color of these top buttons i don't want them all to be purple let's make these red or something maybe teal like that and let's make this one like a yellow here and now we can actually finish up our graph here and we need to add an, uh, an event for on click when we unload here. So what we're going to do is get access to our actor and we're going to go ahead and call the function that this will go ahead and uh, call. Uh, but we also need to go ahead and create because this function is a is a, a looped a loop function here. So let me go here to our async test actor and our loop function is just going to be let's just create an event here that we'll call it's going to be um, custom event and this is just going to loop random static and let's make another one of these so i'll duplicate this and we'll call this uh, F2 loop 
random skeletal. And we probably should go ahead and just do this inside the uh, interface. So let me do that instead. Let's go to our interface. And let's copy these two. And I want to call them on loop. So control all and shift and let's put loop here. And I'm going to actually come into my editor, go to that let me compile this real fast. Come into this modules tab, look for my project, which is YT async, and I'm gonna recompile the project. And hopefully those new um, those new calls will pop up here in our interface. Uh, let's see, they did not. So let me compile this. Oh, there we go. So there we, and once we compile them, they, they went ahead and uh, popped up. So now we can go ahead and uh, do what we need to do here in the widget blueprint. So I'm gonna drag this over here. Give me some space. And once we get this first actor, we want to call on random and we want to get the static. So on random loop, where is loop? Oh, it's on loop random on loop random static. And that's the message we want to send here to that uh, to this class. And if this class doesn't have the interface, this wouldn't even run. Interfaces are very good for doing things like this and making sure that your game doesn't crash. So this is just a single. So this is going to be on random load static here. And this one's going to be on async load here. Oh, try async load uh, static. And this bad boy is going to be unload. So we're going to go ahead and do unload and hit our unload interface message. And over here, we're going to do similar to the static. We're going to do the um, loop skeletal right there on loop random skeletal. We're going to do the on random load skeletal here. And then here we're going to do the async load. So try async load skeletal. And we got on unload must have a valid target or reference to self. Oh, okay. I forgot this here. I'm a fool. I am a fool. So let's give it the actor that will have the interface and compile that. No errors. So now we have our logic set up or it's, it's the foundation of our logic is set up for our interface functions to be ran whenever we press one of our buttons in our widget. And for now, what we can do is just go ahead and implement all of these events just by right clicking implement event, right click, right click, implement event. Then I'll organize them once we get there. So this is our unload. This is our static, skeletal, static, skeletal, static, and skeletal. So let's just make a print string for this here just to test and see if our messages are going to get sent. So this is trying to a a load async, load async static. And then we can duplicate this one. And this is trying to load skeletal. And let's go ahead and bring that over here. If I can grab that. So this is a uh, random load single static function here. And you don't have to do this, but it is good to, to develop this muscle memory just to make sure before you code any actual game code that you test that these are actually firing. So this is random load single skeletal. And this is a loop load. So I'll just put a, a loop in front of this. So loop random load. 
and it's not single. Skeletal, and we'll duplicate this one over here and replace this with static. Now we need to go ahead and create our widget on our uh, player controller class. So I'm gonna go to my core folder, go to my player controller class, open up the full blueprint editor and drag it up here. And on begin play, what we wanna do is go ahead and create a widget and it needs to be of type class WBP async HUD. And then we're just gonna go ahead and add that to our viewport so that we have it there. And now if I press play here, we should get our, yeah, there we go. We should get our um, buttons here and I shift F1. If I try to load async, you see none of our buttons are firing off our messages. So what's going on there? Okay, so it's accessing, accessing none. And this is our blueprint. So it's accessing none. That means we don't have any of these actors in the world. So let me just place one in the world right now. When we actually, um, when we actually code the game mode, we'll spawn that actor in and do it that way. But for now, just to test, let's go ahead and just drag one into the world. And now when we press play, um, shift F1, let's, now we're trying to load async skeletal, try to load async static. We're random loading single skeletal, random loading single static, loop loading uh, random skeletal. I put, uh, okay, yeah, that's right. Uh, loop random load static and unload assets is not firing. So let's go look and see, did we implement that? Nope, we didn't. See, that's why you do the print strings there. Um, so unload all assets here. Let's compile that and save and press play and just check that one and unload assets works. Okay. So that's all I want to do in this video. In the next video, we'll start actually coding our actor to, to do what it's supposed to do uh, in loading uh, asynchronous data into the particular parts that we wanted to load into. Uh, we'll actually uh, jump into C++ first to give it the components that it will need. And then we'll go ahead and finish up and do the blueprint programming. So if you guys are ready for that, go ahead and join me in the next video and I'll see you guys in there. Peace.